to Maths with Mrs J. We're learning how to differentiate polynomials. We are going to extend our rules to deal with indices that are fractional and negative. The rule for polynomials also works when you have a negative index other than negative one or a fractional index. So we had a rule that we learned in our previous video that if we had y equals ax to the n, then dy dx was a n x to the n minus one. So you bring the index down and multiply and then decrease it by one. The same thing happens here. However, normally we'll have a step to take first before we do the differentiation stage. We don't want it in this format or this format. We want it like this in index notation in order for us to use this rule. So let's go through these examples and I'll show you how it works. So before we even differentiate this, we need to change this into index notation. So we need to recognise that one over x squared is x to the negative two. Once we've done that, now we can differentiate using the rule. So the rule says bring the index down and decrease it by one. Now that's not wrong if we leave it like that, but it doesn't look great and it's not in the same format as we were given our question. So it would be better to put it back into that format. So negative two over x cubed would be better. So generally speaking, if you're given um, reciprocal as your function, you want to give it back in that format for your derivative. In general, if you're given with a square root sign as your function, you want to put it back into that format for your answer. It kind of depends why you're differentiating, but just as a general rule, we like to keep the format the same. So what we're going to have to do here before we even try to do f dash x is we're going to work out what index we have here. Cubed root means x to the one third. x to the p over q, this is your power and this is your root. So it's one really here, so it's x to the one third. So f dash x, we go about our normal process bring this down to multiply and decrease by one. What is a third minus one? It is negative two thirds. Now, what are we going to do here? It's negative and it's fractional. Negative means that it's going to be in the denominator. Fractional means that we're going to have a root sign there. I would be inclined to change that to this. So put it as the three obviously is in the denominator. This is x to the two on three, which is the cubed root of x squared. And I'd be inclined to leave my answer in that format because that's very similar to the format that our question was given. Okay, so negative index means it's reciprocal. Fractional index, the numerator, is what you're raising your x to, the denominator is the root that you're taking. Okay, please don't let this confuse you. It's the same rule as always. We just need to be good with our index laws. First thing we're gonna do with g of x here is we're going to adapt it into index notation before we try to differentiate. So five root x means five x to the one half. 6 over x cubed means 6x to the negative 3. And 7x, of course, is just 7x. Now we can go ahead and do our differentiation. We should remember by now that the derivative of a constant is nothing. So we're going to get negative 5 times a half, so negative 5 on 2. x to the, what's a half minus 1? It is negative a half. Then we're going to get plus 6 times negative 3, so minus 18, x to the, decrease that by 1. And then we should know by now that the derivative of negative 7x is negative 7. So that bit's easy. This bit here, okay, we've got an x to the negative half. So 
So that's going to be the same as x to the half in the denominator, and x to the half is the square root of x. x to the negative 4 is the same as x to the 4 in the denominator. And there you go. Okay, one more. Good luck. So before we try to differentiate, we're going to try and put this into index notation. So this is an x to the half in the denominator. So this is actually 3x to the negative 1 half. This is 6x to the negative 3. The fourth root of x is x to the 1 quarter. And this, of course, 2 is just 2. All right, so dy dx, or y dash, doesn't matter which way you write it. So 3 times negative a half is negative 3 on 2. Decrease this by 1. Negative a half minus 1 is negative 3 on 2. Minus 6 times negative 3, so plus 18x, decrease that by 1. Plus a quarter x to the, a quarter minus 1 is negative 3 quarters and derivative of two is nothing. Okay, we've got three negative indices here, so they're all going to be in the denominator. So we're going to get, what are we going to get? We're going to get negative three over two, and we could do, well, hang on just a tick here, x to the three on two, we could do it as the square root of x cubed, but when we simplify that using our thirds, we actually get x root x, don't we? So I'd be inclined to do that. Plus 18 on x to the 4, plus 1 over 4, x cubed, the fourth root, I'd probably just leave that like this. There's nothing else you can really do with that one. That is getting a little bit tricky there, but this is where everything starts to come in together. Your index laws, your factorization, your expansion, your differentiation, you name it, it's all in there together. So you need to have a really good handle on those uh, basic skills.